Hey everyone, this is Barry. Hope you're doing well. So today, Spotify Premium users have now got availability to actually use an AI playlist. So it's a bit like ChatGPT, but within Spotify to create your personalised playlist, which is really cool. Um, so they basically go on to say that, you know, they've, they've done their AI DJ playlist and, and kind of different functionality to kind of help from AI tools with Spotify. But now they're providing Spotify premium subscribers with this AI playlist tool, which is in beta. And it's with users on Android and iOS devices in the UK, which includes myself, and also Australia, which is very unusual because they typically release new updates within the US first before applying it to the UK. So it's nice to see that we actually get first um, try with this, which is really cool. So yeah, so creating the new playlist with an AI playlist is as simple as a typical unique prompt into the chat. So we'll have a look at this. So let me go into my Spotify, which I'm doing now. And they've just added courses as well, which is quite interesting. And they're certainly trying whatever they can to monetize, aren't they? They've done podcasts, they've done audio books, they've now got courses. I dread to think what's next. I wish they'd just focus on music, which as a music producer, you can understand why I would think that. So let's go to my library. Now, just to give you an indication of how much I use Spotify as a listener, I have 2,723 liked songs. So all of my favourite songs are here. And I've meticulously gone through these. Meticulously. and Because originally it was like 6,000. And I don't just add albums, I review every single track. And if there's an artist that I like, what I do is I listen to every single track of that new artist and then I review um, the best ones and then add those to the liked songs. So that just gives you a bit of an idea of, of what I do. So we're in the library now and we're having a look at playlist and I can click add on the top right, which is that plus. And then you've got your standard playlist, you've got your blend, which is combining tastes with different friends, which I don't bother with. And then this is the new AI playlist here. Turn your ideas into playlists using AI, currently only available in English. What do you want to hear today? Let's make a playlist together. So it gives some suggestions at the bottom, it says powered by AI as well. So, or you can click on the white box and you can say what you want it to do. So as an example, I am known as Cyber Monday. So show all tracks by Cyber Monday. Now what you will find, there are limitations with this. So I really hope they improve this going forward because as such an active listener, I listen to so much music. Music is my passion. So for me, it seems to be restricted and limited by 30 songs on one particular playlist, which is a shame. So it says, here's a playlist playlist featuring all tracks by Cyber Monday. Swipe left to remove any songs you don't want as you continue refining your playlist. Now, I wish the limit on these AI playlists were like a thousand or something, because for me, that would be more useful. I asked for all tracks by Cyber Monday, and that's not what I'm getting. If I, however, say we find this playlist and say only instrumentals, now does that refine the 30 tracks? Okay, so it's taken those 30 tracks and it's chosen 15 of those particular instrumental tracks that's been done. You could say from this particular album, for instance. The, I wouldn't say the options are endless because they're not in terms of possibility. However, I do think it's a very good starting point and I think this will be improved on going forward. So you can literally preview the tracks here. So I can simply delete that. So I just swipe left and it's gone. Now, 
right, what happens if I hold down the track? Nothing. So you can't reorder this either, which is a bit of a shame. There is an ellipse button on the bottom right where you can report a problem. You can clear the conversation if you want to start again from scratch. But for now, I'm going to click Create. And there you go. It's created my playlist straight away. So I've got 57 minutes of music. I haven't had to curate it myself. And then I've got full functionality in terms of how I want to edit those, which is really cool. Now let's try another one, shall we? Let's have a look at, go back, plus, AI playlist. Show the latest tracks by Cyber Monday. Let's give that a second. And this is very quick, I have to say. I'm very impressed. And it's done it, you know. This is correct. This is absolutely spot on. So if, for example, there's an artist that you really like, but you just haven't had a chance to check out the latest tracks, say you don't use Release Radar as a playlist, then this is something that you can do to actually find out without having to manually go through. You can just do that and then click Create. Okay, that's really cool. Now let's give it another idea. So, again, the plus... AI playlist, show tracks by Cyber Monday and Cyber Friday. Now I'm known as Cyber Monday for my synth pop stuff and Cyber Friday for my dance stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so it's done that. It has included Cyber Cafe, which isn't me, but it's done 17 songs. I wish it gave a bit more logic, in, a bit more of an explanation into me understanding what logic it's using. Why has it chosen these particular tracks over others? Because that, for me, is really important. But still, it gives you an idea. Let's try one of the default settings at the bottom. So, I hate jazz, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested in karaoke. Chill out with Vaporwave and Chillwave songs. So, I'm going to click on that. Now, it's probably recognised that that's what I like. That is a bug. It straight away wants to delete the, the second entry, if you've seen that, which is a bit odd. However, it has done really well in terms of choosing tracks for me. A lot of these tracks are actually my liked songs, but it has made suggestions of others that aren't my liked songs, which is really interesting. So... And what else I can do, I can go back to AI Playlist and I can say, show me uh, fast, catchy tracks by my liked songs. Great, let me look through that catalogue, getting your favourite songs. Okay. Interesting previews as well, because they aren't the start of the track. It's it's often, I don't know if it's the most popular part of the track or whether it's uh, been set by the digital distribution companies. You can confuse it, however. So you can say um, female tracks by my liked tracks. Now, let's see if we can confuse it. Let me look through our catalogue. Getting your favourite songs, starting fresh. Sorry, that was a bit off tempo. Let me try it again. The first time around wasn't a hit. I'm going to try something different. There we go. I've tried a bunch of different ways to make that playlist, but it's not coming together. Perhaps you could simplify your request. So the reason for that, either it was finding it too challenging that I've got so, so many like tracks. That's probably the most popular one I reckon or perhaps it doesn't understand what female is so let's let's try clear the conversation let's think about this now could I go the human league featuring female vocalists now this is very technical Okay, it seems to have done it. I can't know for certain whether that is the case because I, I, I certainly know that seconds they don't sing, the backing singers don't sing on that track. So I don't actually think that's work, worth uh, working, to be honest. Okay, so there you have it. That's Spotify AI.
playlists, which is really cool. And we've just gone through the instructions. It says at Spotify, we aim to deliver the right piece of music for that exact moment in time. With AI playlist in beta, we're excited to give premium subscribers in the UK and Australia a new way to discover music. Over the coming months, we look forward to continuing to iterate on this new feature to best serve our listeners. So yeah, I'd be very interested in terms of what updates they're going to give on that. For me, it needs to have more capability. It needs to be able to host more than 30 tracks on a single playlist. But once you do find the playlist, then I think it does a really good job. Um, I mean, there's other ones here, such as the best guitar solos of all time. And yeah, you've got Stairway to Heaven on here. Um, Pink Floyd, Guns N' Roses, Eagles, Dire Straits, Queen. Jimi Hendrix, I'd say that's done a very good job. So if you're looking for really popular music, then I think it's going to be a very good job at doing that. So I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.